Frameforge 3D Studio is desktop pre-visualization software designed to put the power of previs right into the hands of directors. While traditional storyboards can convey tone and suggest framing, their fatal flaw is that while anything can be drawn, due to the realities of camera, sets, and optics, not everything can be shot. For this and other reasons, Frameforge 3D Studio's desktop pre-visualization offers several major benefits over traditional storyboarding and high-end previs. First and foremost, by using a photo-accurate set in the equipment limitations of your target camera package, you are guaranteed that all shots you prep in Frameforge 3D Studio will be possible to shoot. Equally important, because you're running the software yourself, you'll have the ability to hone your vision in an optically accurate virtual film studio. You can explore angles and shots with complete freedom, truly discovering the options and limitation of the space and your equipment in it, all without the pressures of producers and the expense of cast and crew. Not only does this allow you to walk onto the set with a rock-solid shooting plan, but it also familiarizes you as to what will and won't work on the set better preparing you for adapting to the changing needs of the actual shoot. All this power and utility wouldn't do you much good, however, if the program were too hard to use, or constantly pulled you out of your directorial point of view. Which is why Frameforge's great power comes with great familiarity. It manages this neat trick by basing its interface on a multi-camera control room which uses the ideas and terminology that filmmakers are already using. Across the top are monitors displaying the images through all the cameras on the set. In the center is the live view, where you can add, delete, move, or otherwise manipulate objects on the set. You can switch the live view to any available camera's view simply by double-clicking on the corresponding monitor. In the upper left-hand corner is the overhead blueprint view. Like the camera views, this can be brought into the live view simply by double-clicking. Continuing with the metaphor of a control room, controls for the currently selected camera are right at your fingertips at the bottom of the screen, while controls for manipulating objects are located along the left-hand side. The last major interface element is your object library, a repository of over 800 objects and the source for everything that goes onto your set. To use it, simply click on the object you want to add and drag it onto the set. The actor appears where we dropped it and a number of additional controls became active. These allow you to perform common tasks such as looking at or reaching for with a minimum of clicks. Positioning an object on the set is just as easy. While 3D programs are often very difficult to use, Frameforge 3D Studio's unique chessboard movement makes dragging around objects simple and predictable. The program also knows how specific objects interact in the real world. What this means for you is that when you drag an actor into a chair, you're ready to go. Since a traditional complaint against 3D programs is the woodenness of the characters, let's bring this one to life. Frameforge's unique Expression Builder lets you easily select among 12 different base expressions then apply them to just the degree your scene demands. Now that we've seen the general workflow, let's try and put it all together. We'll start by selecting our Film Media and Aspect Ratio. Doing so ensures that the framing and optics will match those of our target camera and that all reported focal lengths will thus be accurate. Next, we'll edit our set parameters. This is where we can give the set a name and put in minimum or maximum camera height to reflect a ceiling or crane limitation. Now we'll put in our lens limitations, be it a zoom range or a collection of focal primes. We can select from any of the standard collections or edit and build our own. Once we're satisfied, simply click Apply. What we've just done has ensured that the program won't let us put the camera up through the ceiling or beyond the capacities of our crane, won't let us use any focal lengths other than the ones we'll actually have available. With all that under our belt, we're ready to build the set. 
and we'll use a function called appropriately enough room builder. It starts with a blueprint style grid laid out in either meters or feet. Since you create walls and rooms simply by drawing them, across the top are a series of buttons that allow you to specify whether you're drawing all four walls, parallel walls, or a single wall. Once you've selected the desired button, actually building the walls is a simple matter of click and drag. As you do so, the lengths of both walls are dynamically displayed, making it simple to build rooms to exact measurements. For even more control, you can also enter the measurements numerically. Once the room is set to the measurements you like, adding an additional room is literally a snap. Likewise, adding doors and windows is merely a click away. Simply select the door or window style you want and then click where you want it to go. Like walls, the door's dimensions and position are dynamically displayed. If you want to move or resize it, simply click and drag. Changing a hinge's orientation or side is also simply a matter of clicking and dragging. Since the rooms we're building here are going to be a bedroom with an attached bathroom, let's finish up by adding a pair of windows to the bedroom's far wall and an entrance door to the near one. All that's left is to click the Build Rooms button and the program will convert what we've drawn into a true 3D set. Now that we have the walls built on the set, let's zoom into the bathroom so that we can work with it more easily. Next we'll go to our object library to start dressing it. We'll select bathroom, then tubs and showers. We'll drag in a tub with shower. We'll need to rotate it so we click on the spin button. And then we drag it into position. Speaking about dragging things into position, one of the key elements about FrameForge is that we've designed it to make it as easy to use as possible, letting you focus on what your goal is, not on the mechanics of using the program. A perfect example of this is the way the program handles objects moving against walls. Unlike other 3D programs where an object might end up embedded in the wall or on top of it, FrameForge understands what you're doing and ensures that the object remains butted up smoothly against the wall so you don't have to worry about it. But back to the task at hand. Our bathroom is pretty complete now, so let's put in a camera and see how it looks. Since cameras automatically come in pointing at the currently selected object, Let's click on the tub to give our new camera a point of focus. Then to add the camera, simply double click. Notice that the camera is red and there is now a new red monitor. To see what the camera is actually seeing in the live view, all we do is double click on the monitor. Now you'll notice there is a transparent gray fog around the tub. That's just an on-screen selection rectangle to show you what object is selected and it won't export or print so you don't need to worry about it. All right, let's do the bedroom now. We return to the blueprint view and show everything in the object library. We'll type in double bed and the icons of all the available double beds appear. From this point on, dressing the rest of the bedroom is a simple matter of drag and drop. So let's skip ahead to after we've added the remaining objects, double click to add a new blue camera and then review to see what we've done. There's our bed with a pair of bedside tables. a bureau, our windows in the wall behind the bed, and a table and chairs. Because FrameForge 3D Studio was designed specifically for the film industry, it integrates your pre-production planning into the actual production process in unprecedented ways. It starts by printing out not only the images seen through the target camera, but also the overhead blueprint view showing your camera setups. This can be an invaluable tool not only for enabling your crew to get the desired shot, but in also figuring out the best order of shooting to minimize lighting setups. You also get all the relevant camera information for each shot including camera height, focal length, and angle of view, plus all relevant depth of field information including focus distance, f-stop, near and far focus, and hyperfocal length. With all this production information on the printed output, shots that you know will be possible to shoot, and the familiarity with the set that you've gained through the process of pre-visualization. 
Is it any wonder that shoots done with Frameforge 3D Studio go faster and smoother than you'd ever believe possible? Frameforge 3D Studio, isn't it time you stepped up to the power of previs?